for short pet cook has been working for mango farmers and assisting them to control diseases and pests on their farms. The COVID was formed primarily to control the mango bacterial transport disease. As of now, we have been successful in controlling the disease on the farms that we work on. But the challenge that is confronting us is that at certain times, chemical residues are detected in some of the produce. And so we are now embarking upon a trial to convert our farmers from inorganic mango production services to organic. Because of that, we have assembled a number of organic pesticides and fungicides for a trial on 20 of our farms. And that the trials have begun under the auspices of a consultant. We are hoping that within the next three years, we would have been able to replace all the inorganic chemicals with organic, so that fluids from the farms that we work in can be exported and even consumed locally as organic fruits, uh, which is more healthy for, uh, for consumption. The reason why we are going organic is that um, the food production industry is now competitive. And it's like every consumer is concerned about his or her health. And since some of the inorganic chemicals leave residues in the mangoes, it doesn't make it healthy for public consumption. And so we want to encourage all the farmers that we serve to convert to organic so that the end products of, from their farms, that is the mango fruits, will be considered as organic fruits with no chemical residues. That is one of the goals of the company, to assist all our kinds mango farmers to produce organic fruits. Thank you. In fact, we get feedback from the processors who buy the mangoes from our farmers. And some of the feedback that we get from them is that sometimes they detect uh, residues in the mangoes that they buy from our clients. And that um, it makes their product unacceptable for the international market and even for local consumption. And that is why we want to assist our farmers to solve that problem by introducing organic chemicals to replace the inorganic ones, which, is, which we consider to be poisonous for human health. Yes, 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 yes. In fact, um, feedback that we've gotten from some, some, of the, uh, some of the processes indicate that they have ever had to discard a whole consignment of fruits the moment it was detected. In other words, that batch was destroyed because of the detection of chemical residues in that particular batch. In other words, that, that batch of fruits were not processed at all, and they had to discard them by throwing them away. And that is a very big loss to them as a company. So we want to avoid that, uh, so that uh, processors will not buy fruits that is, has chemical residues. And consumers will also not consume fruits with chemical residues, which is very dangerous to their health. In terms of the organic, yeah. Farmers are using inorganic because uh, the mango industry is bedeviled with a lot of diseases and pest situations. And they think that they must be able to control the diseases and pests by whatever means, by all means. And so if there is any chemical that can control the pest for them, they have to rely upon it. Uh, but at the same time, whilst controlling the pests and diseases, it's also leaving some residues in the fruits. Uh -huh. That is why we have thought it necessary to start these trials of replacing all those poisonous inorganic chemicals with organic. organic. Almost all farms in this area are using inorganic chemicals. In fact, so far as I'm concerned, farms that we have visited, there is none of them that doesn't use inorganic chemicals. And so we are now educating our farmers and getting them to understand the need for them to convert from inorganic to organic. And that's uh, if fruits produced from a farm that is certified to be organic has a chance of fetching even higher prices. Yes. 
actually, disease and pest control is very expensive. But the issue is that if the farmer is able to invest in controlling diseases on the swamp and pests on the swamp, he will by all means reap the results. As we work with the farmers, we take data from them, we take their farm records, we assist them to do farm records, and we assess. Uh, one example that I have is that uh, a farmer who spent, uh, this is something that actually happened, a farmer who spent 2,300 Ghana cities in controlling disease and pests on his farm was able to get three times that, that, that amount after harvesting. So it's expensive controlling the disease, but once you do it, you reap the results by getting a bumper yield. And also, once disease and pests are controlled, the fruits that come out, comes out to be unique, healthy, and good looking for the consumers. Now, we have started the trials. And the trials is being done on 20 selected farms. So, after three years, we hope to take samples from all these farms for testing. And if one, the organic chemicals that we have selected, is proves capable of controlling the disease and pests. And at the same time, after testing at the Ghana Standard Authority, if it is found out that they, those chemicals don't also leave residues in the fruit, then it means that we have succeeded with the trial and that we replicate it on all the farms that we work on. The BPS basically is controlled with um, copper-based fungicides. And copper-based fungicides is accepted on the European Union Disease and Pest Control Protocol. That is the organic uh, disease control protocol. It's accepted. But it shouldn't go beyond a certain threshold. Uh, so for BBS, controlling BBS with organic, uh, with copper-based fungicides can still be considered as organic control. And again, we have done trials with a particular product we call Bion. Now what Bion does is that it increases the plant's ability to resist the BBS altogether. And Bion is also organic. And so it means that if we are able to apply the Bion on all farms, the BBS will not even happen at all because the plant's resistance against the disease would have been boosted to the extent that the disease cannot even affect it. So it doesn't become an issue at all. And that's with the other pests that worry mangoes. We are doing very serious trials with these organic uh, pesticides and we hope that um, preliminary results that we have gathered from the field indicate that it is feasible, we it can be done. The next three years, so that we can take comprehensive data, analyze after three years, for us to be able to come out that we are true with these chemicals to replace the inorganic.